understood that it ain't no good, you shouldn't let other people get your kicks for you. I wanted to start this series because I often find myself uh, looking for new songs, but uh, I have uh, quite an hard time to, to find them sometimes. And uh, so I, I thought that it would be nice for other people to have uh, a source for new ideas, maybe. And that's basically the reason. <laughs> so let's start. I wanted to start the, the series with uh, Like a Rolling Stone from Bob Dylan, which is probably like one of the greatest artists maybe ever, in my opinion, at least. And Like a Rolling Stone is one of his best songs, without a doubt. So Like a Rolling Stone is a, a song from Highway 61 Revisited which is an album of 1965, as you can see here. And uh, this album contains uh, at least two like amazing songs. One is uh, like a Rolling Stone, obviously. And one is uh, the last one, like the first and the last one. And the last one is The Zero Lesson Row, which is also really, really an amazing song. You, you should listen to that as well. So what's uh, like a Rolling Stone about? Basically, it uh, talks about uh, a girl who used to have everything and now has lost everything. So it's, she's like a Rolling Stone, you know, wandering around. And I mean, just listen to the song, it, it's amazing. And uh, my, my favorite part of the song, it's, uh, the, the, I would say, the, the part with which I started the video. And uh, I would say that uh, these songs this song has uh, a lot of like interpretation have, have been has been interpreted by other artists a lot and so i wanted to su suggest uh, like a couple of uh, interesting interpretation like uh, one for sure uh, from uh, the rolling stones like it should have been like their song but uh, bob uh, still away from them like under their nose or something like that i guess so th that's that's pretty good uh, mm, this is like a more uh, i would say more rock ish interpretation and i suggest you to listen to it it's, it's really, really really good and then another another pretty interesting interpretation is uh, obviously the alternate take this is pretty good as well by bob dylan of course and then all the live interpretation from uh, Jimi Hendrix, like if you know him, uh, you know, he, it's gonna be great. And uh, there are uh, one at Monterey, and I don't know if I've spelled it correctly, but anyway. And then three, uh, which were made uh, all in Winterland, San Francisco, uh, at the 10th of uh, like uh, October, November and December. So October, November and December. And uh, they are all great, there is a great uh, uh, guitar, uh, uh, you know, it's Jimi Hendrix, so I don't have to tell you any anymore. And so there is that, and then I would say that uh, there is also like uh, <coughs> a couple, there are also a couple of live by Bob Dylan that I really, I really enjoy. One is, uh, let me just see, one is uh, the one of 1969 from uh, Island of, uh, let me find it, Heisel of Wheat. This is pretty good, and uh, also like uh, the 1966 from uh, Royal Albert Hall. This is pretty good as well. I mean, there are almost all like worth of listening at least once, so I suggest you to listen to all of them. And uh, But these, these were really, really good. And uh, yeah, I would say that these more or less are the, the best. In my opinion, there are a lot of like other interpretation, but I, I don't really like them. Uh, maybe like if you are a fan of Green Days, I know that uh, they have made, uh, I think, a live. They have sent, uh, song this this song like a Rolling Stone at least uh, once, maybe maybe more, and it's uh, it's fine. I mean. I, I think that the original is way better, and these one these ones are way better. But if you if you really like Green Day, I guess you can g give it a shot. 
and yeah, uh, anyway, I think that uh, the Bob Dylan version is uh, way better than the, than the others, but the others are, are still worth uh, listening. Yeah, so that's it. Bye-bye.